So this is just a quick little video for a little miscellaneous fact that I couldn't find a good place to fit into the flows of the rest of the videos, which were already, quite frankly, too long. So now that we know a bit about segmentation, it turns out that you've been using segmentation all along without even knowing it. So segmentation can either be used implicitly or explicitly. And the most common way is to actually be using it implicitly. So the processor will actually be automatically, implicitly choosing a segment register based on what type of access it's doing. So if you're doing some sort of code, like instruction fetches, implicitly the processor is always using the code segment. If you're doing any sort of pushing and popping from the stack, or if you're using EBP or ESP, then it's implicitly using the stack segment register. Data access implicitly uses the DS for everything except their special uh, string destination things. And also uh, ES is used when you're dealing with string instructions. So what is a string instruction? You recall that there was move S and rep move S. Those were those move string to string or repeated move string to string. So I kind of, you know, didn't dwell on this fact when we were talking about them, but behind the scenes, those instructions are actually explicitly saying that they are moving from the data segment to the E segment, the extra segment. I feel like a long time ago, I had actually seen some disassemblers that left off the DS and ES. And so the first time that I ever went and looked at the manual and saw these references, I was like, oh, weird. You know, I never noticed that before. And, you know, sometimes you might just straight up look at it. You'll see the DS, you'll see the ES, you won't know what they are. And so you'll just kind of ignore it in your mind. But, uh, but really it's using, uh, certainly on 32-bit systems, it's using these segment registers uh, behind the scenes. Now, actually on 64-bit systems, it is not implicitly using those anymore. Uh, and so that's why it's funny that GDB actually still shows that the DS and ES are used because according to the manual, they're not actually used. And even if they were, they would just be zeros. So I could really leave those off here, but this is probably just leftover from the uh, disassembly uh, from 32-bit disassembly as applied to 64-bit. Now, beyond the implicit usage of segment registers, you can actually have the explicit usage. So if you had, you know, move from RBX, the memory pointed to by RBX into RAX, you can actually have an explicit move from the data pointed to by this logical address, this far pointer. So if this is a normal pointer, a near pointer, this is a far pointer. So from FS RBX, into RAX. And you will actually see this sort of thing a lot in 32-bit windows, because on 32-bit windows, they use the FS register. We'll come back to that later on. Windows 64, they use the GS register. But basically, you know, operating systems, like we said, the whole reason FS and GS are still working the same way they used to work for segmentation is because operating systems like to put data structures at FS or GS, and different operating systems do different things with that. So, you know, if you're reverse engineering Windows, you'll frequently see, ref or malware on Windows, you'll see references to FS and some pointer, and that's actually the start of some data structure plus some offset uh, into that data structure. So like I said, this was just a quick miscellaneous point that there's implicit and explicit usage of segment registers that still goes on today, even though, you know, 64-bit segmentation has been diminished in its capabilities.